Dr. Kevin Volkema from Santerra Martha Jefferson Family Medicine. He's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for being back with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. happy to have you. And we're talking today about some examples of health devices, platforms that can really help people when it comes to their health. Uh, what should people be using these days? Yeah, absolutely. So I think it's really easy to start with what we have already. So a lot of people have a smartphone or a smart watch. Doesn't have to be Apple, Android, Garmin, any of those. And already built in on those uh, devices, there's so many applications. So many people are familiar, you know, with uh, how many steps you take or what your heart rate is, or even being able to connect with your physician uh, via telemedicine. But there's so much more than that. You know, you can do a single EDKG, you can measure pulse oximetry, you can assess your gait. Um, there's even fall alerts for our senior patients as well. Um, and that's not even to mention mental health, uh, you know, monitoring, sleep monitoring, the list really goes on. And now with this recent influx of open AI, learning language models that many people have kind of heard about in the news, um, the number of applications are just skyrocketing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty incredible. And you're right, it's just yeah. going to grow more. How do you envision these kinds of health technologies really improving the patient provider relationship? Absolutely. So um, I think it's crucial, you know, especially when you think about um, improving, you know, healthcare quality, healthcare engagement, and empowerment for patients. In healthcare, there's something called the quadruple aim that we try, uh, strive to achieve, and that's improving the patient experience, the healthcare provider's experience, um, improving the health of populations while decreasing costs. And I think digital health has a really unique opportunity to accomplish that. And I actually just want to share one quick story that kind of highlights this. Um, a few years ago, a good friend of mine gave me a call and, and he said his heart just kind of felt funny. He, he felt little flutters, maybe it felt a little fast. And as he's kind of going through the story with me, he happens to mention that his wife has a uh, smartwatch, I think it was Apple. Um, and they just, at that time, it was just heart rate monitoring and it showed his heart rate was high, but it was all over the place. Um, and with that piece of information, I said, you know, you, you got to go to the emergency room. And, um, it's a good thing he did because he was diagnosed with a serious arrhythmia and fortunately he's doing well now but I think the story really highlights not only how this can help with you know just tracking and trying to improve health but actually saving lives and, and optimizing people's care. Yeah it's mm -hmm. wild and you hear so many stories like mm -hmm. that it's really incredible people that didn't even know anything was mm -hmm. wrong. Um, in what ways would you say that mobile health apps can assist um, physicians when it comes to monitoring and mm -hmm. managing chronic conditions? Yep. So it definitely helps that patient provider connection and relationship because, um, you know, when I see a patient in clinic, I don't really know exactly all the time what's going on when they're at home, when they're in the community. Um, but these applications, whether it's heart rate monitoring, sleep monitoring, dietary tracking, exercise, it really gives a unique opportunity. But I think it also helps patients really take ownership of their health, which is arguably more important. Um, even just in the last few weeks, I've had a few patients who you know, they had a, a mole or a lesion and, and they use Google's uh, dermatolo dermatology AI application to take a photo of it and that really helped us determine how quickly they need to see dermatology or even get a biopsy. Yeah, it's amazing mm -hmm. and you're right, these things yeah. are going to be more and more and more in the coming years. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Thanks for having me again. Yep, we'll have yeah. you back soon. Mm -hmm. And Steve, back to you.